Hello, hello! Welcome back to Culture Shopper YouTube channel and welcome to Creative Sessions for Kids and Adults. In today's session, we are going to use a special technique and it's called pointillism. This is a technique of painting in which we do, will do small tiny dots to create a piece like this one. What are we going to do? We are going to do a postcard. Why? Because I think it's really nice to do a postcard for one of your family, your friends and send it. Because in the times that we are living, I think we really need to enjoy the little things and receive some love from our beloved ones. So yeah, let's do it. Are you ready? Pontillism is a technique that was used by George uh, Georges Saurat. He was a French painter and he was really well known for one masterpiece that is called The Sunday Afternoon on the island of the Grand Jet. Of course we are not going to recreate that because I think it's a lot of work to do but in this case for example I choose a really nice landscape that I really like it and I just try to imitate it a little bit but you can do your own thing. I mean if you just want to do a tree, do a tree using Punti as me. If you want to do some flowers, do some flowers. Just do your own thing because this is a free and safe place for inspiration. So, yeah. What do we need for this creative session? We'll need some tablecloth like this one to protect our, co our working area. We will need some hard paper like this one, like watercolor paper. And if you don't want to use uh, paper and you want to paint on something else, you could use, for example, a glass jar like in the last session. That's just an idea and it's totally optional. And we'll need some pencil and rubber that's totally optional because you just need it if you want to use it to draw your painting before starting painting. So it's just you to have a mapping of your drawing. What more do we need? We'll need, for example, some paint that it could be a uh, tempera or acrylic, like this one. Or if you don't want to use paint, you can use watercolor brushes or watercolor paint. Or you can use some markers or color pencils. It depends on what do you want to use and what do you have at home. In my case, I will use this acrylic paint. And because I will use the acrylic paint, I will need some Q-tips, like these ones. And of course, I will need also some covers, like this one or this one, to put the paint. And a glass with some water. So, let's start our creative session. Step 1. Put your favorite playlist and enjoy the process. Step 2. You will need to cover your working area. So. Just get your tablecloth and protect your table. And this creative session is a little bit free in the way that uh, we are not going to reproduce the paint that uh, Saurat did. We are going just to do a landscape that we like and that we want to reproduce. So feel totally free to do your own interpretation. Saurat was very famous for pontillism. Pontillism is the technique of doing a draw doing tiny, tiny points. And for example, one of his famous artworks was A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of Le Grand Jet. The thing is, I know that it's quite complicated to reproduce a masterpiece of a great artist. So I think it would be a great idea to your your own interpretation of a landscape made out of pontillism. And that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, and what I want to encourage you to do in this session is to choose a landscape that you really like, or for example, just a tree, and reproduce it try to do it with tiny dots. Step three. Once you have choose the landscape that you want to do or the motif that you want to reproduce in your uh, paper or in your jar, you need to do a mapping. What is this? You just need, for example, in my case, I'm going to use a pencil, but you can use anything that you have at home to do it. And it's just to draw a little bit. What do you want later to do with the points? So let's do it. Step four, once you have your draw ready or your mapping ready, it's, start, it's time to start with the color. And that's totally free. You just need to put the color on where you want, how to do it. So you get one of the covers and you get the paint that you want to start. I think I'm going to start for the sky. 
Again, if you don't want to use uh, tempera, it is not a problem. You can use whatever you have at home. I think in watercolor, it will be amazing also. So yeah, just start painting with the Q-tips. Or for example, you can also start painting with this, with the, with the brush, you can also do points. So it's just a way that you find your own technique to do pontism. I said Q-tips because it's something easy that you can do uh, tiny dots. With the Q-tip, it's exactly the same. Just get the Q-tip, do a little bit, and start doing points. Now, for example, we can do some clouds, and it's exactly with the same technique. You grab a little bit of white color, and get Q-tip, white, and we start painting some cuts just by doing points. Just about doing the sky in the way that you like it. So be creative and follow your own process. As you see, I'm just following my own process and it's what you need to do. I'm just choosing the colors that I want and I'm doing dots between the brushes and the Q-tips. And then I'm going to do also some details with color, um, color um, watercolor brushes, sorry. Because I think it will be really good to do the points. So yeah, it's just about do points and yeah, enjoy it. So... As you can see now, I'm adding some details with watercolor brushes. If you don't have watercolor brushes, do not worry. You can just use markers or uh, color pencils and just do tiny, tiny dots so you can create the shadows as I'm doing, like this. You need to have a little bit of patience, but what I'm doing is doing my own thing. So if you don't want to do, give it so much detail, you can just do, for example, the mountains and do a beautiful landscape just with mountains. So you're the one, you are the artist, so you're the one who choose what you want to do. And this with the whole landscape. Q-tip, green color, and dots. Of course, later I'm going to do the details with a watercolor brush or a marquee. You see, it's progressing. So now details. So it's the same. Do a little bit and then details. A little bit, details, like this. So now I want to do tiny, 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 tiny dots over here. Because I want to mark the path of the greens. Tiny, tiny dots. I want to have some plants in the houses. Tiny, tiny dots. Wow. 
Remember, dots, dots, dots all the time. And your own dots. And continue with the details. So now, for example, I need to do some fences and I guess, uh, I don't know if I would be able to do it just with, I think I'm going to do lines. Oh my gosh, I'm breaking the law. So, just irregular lines because, well, it's a fence in a field, so it's not really need to be perfect. Okay. Yeah, exactly the same. See, for this reason, watercolor brushes are really good because they're pointy. And then the fence needs to be smaller. And you need to do also some more here. Okay, now I need one here. Very, very thin line. And now, the thing that we are waiting for, the tree. And I'm going to do a sakura tree. So I will need some pink and some lila. Let's do it. So I got here the colors. And I think I'm going to start doing like a little bit, oops, a little bit of the um, dark color, the dark pink first underneath, and then lighter over here. So let's call it, I have it here. And I have still white. So I want some white. Mm. Okay. Oh, I'm afraid. Right. Let's do it. I think I need to put a little bit more blue. Yeah. So before that, I'm going to put more blue in this area. So let's do some dots. And last step, details. Now is the time to do all the details that you want to add. Like for example, in this case, I really want to do a little bit more of the tree. I have a little bit more of a body. So, and you can follow some branches and do them a little bit more darker. Like this one over here. also it will look nice to mark a little bit more the path we do a little bit tiny 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 dots so yeah and done! Congratulations! You have finished one more creative sessions for kids and adults. I hope that you enjoy the process and if it's like this, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now is the moment for you to send this beautiful postcard to one of your family members or one of your friends. I'm sure that they're going to enjoy it a lot because nowadays it is a moment to enjoy the little things and with this situation, I think something like this handmade it from my beloved is going to be amazing. At least I would love to receive a postcard like this. So thanks a lot and see you in the next creative sessions for kids and adults. Bye bye.